So a little thing I didn't get around to catching up with you guys about was I made a new purchase. It is MacBook Pro 15 inch. Ooh, hang on. Look, apparently either my friends are all knackered or mine's really good, but I can't open that one hand. The whole thing lifts up. So I've wanted one of these for a while. Um, I spent most time in America looking for one, and it's really hard to find, and they're all expensive and all sorts of crap. And Basically, I don't. Have, I, I know I've said I haven't got much money at the moment, and I'm in debt and stuff. But this came up for a 15 inch 2013 um, solid state drive, 16 gig RAM. Literally, like you can see, screen like mint condition, not the slightest scratch on the whole thing on the front. The only damage to it was uh, that little corner knock there. But yeah, I picked that up for 780 pounds so I couldn't really say no to that um, I'm gonna need it that's the thing uh, for tours uh, I need, especially with tour managing um, where I'm emailing back and forth with promoters emailing with photographers emailing with the venues trying to sort up stuff with other bands um, I need it non-stop when I'm a photographer on the tour you know I photograph all day I'm gonna spend the whole night sat in the bunk editing I need to have a Mac and if this is the industry I want to go into, which is, I'm going to need it. Like, let's be honest. If I'm flying to and from America, I've got a 16-hour flight where I could be doing 16 hours of work. So that's what I'm going to do. So I picked that up. I'm super, 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 super happy about that. I've used it. I've got my Mac in the background. I've got 27-inch iMac. Um, 2008, 2009. Wow. That can't be that old. That can't be that old, surely. Maybe. Um, what I need to do right about now is I need to tidy my room because, to be honest, that is pretty disgraceful. I started clearing it the day, which you can quite clearly see when I open this door. And then I started moving stuff, and it was all over the floor, so I dumped everything. Like all of all of this stuff here. All, normally, all of these are spread out properly in there, but I chucked everything into there. I got a ball on there, and I got. A I found my old shirt, which I found kind of funny. My old folk shirt. I got bought that at a folk festival, you know, part of the thing. Um, I need to organise all this. I bought a new watch. I think I showed on Instagram, I believe, that one. Really nice watch, actually. I kind of liked it. It's really super, super cheap, but it's kind of a... Um, hang out, mate. So I'm not too fussed about damaging it. Wear around watch. Which goes with these in my watch box. But I need to organise all my stuff. The only thing that's organised is my aftershave, like... And that's my savings jar, which has got nothing... Well, I don't know. There's something in there. There's something in there. See, all of this needs tied in. That's just all crap from the tour. Flex magazines. Tour folders. This is empty, pretty much, at the moment, apart from an amp. And my yoga mat thingy. Mum putting some decorations over there. To make my room look festive, supposedly. Um, shirts I wore on tour. Ever forward shirt. So it's pretty late already. I haven't. Well, pretty late. It's about five thirty. Late because I haven't done much. Um, no, it's four thirty. Okay, it's earlier than I thought. Um, and. I'm going to train late tonight, I'll probably go at like 7.30, 8 o'clock. No, gym shots at 10, so I'll go at 7.30. So I'm having an hour and a half weights, half an hour, 40 minutes cardio. Um, that steak stuff was delicious, the corn steak. Um, I actually just tired of this room so bad, like the whole thing is a freaking mess. I'm currently just watching some... Max tuning, drinking my water, like hanging out, which I shouldn't really be doing because uh, I need to do some stuff that's progressive. I'm designing a website and um, I actually need some help on this. Oh. It's got a zoom lens on there, 1855 Nikon, and it keeps turning because I'm holding it by the lens. Um, yeah, I'm designing my website and business cards and stuff, uh, but. I don't know how to do my write-up, so I've got to write about myself, like a summary for a website, like a, 
I don't know how to do it. I've just got a page about like about me sort of page. I don't know what to write, so I'll try to think of that is difficult. Love is a CV, it's kind of easy. But when I have to do it for a website, it's gonna get potential employers hire me for a tour. I don't know, it just seems kind of different, so um Yeah. I'm actually a couple of little bit of footage of the tour actually. Maybe I'll do that. I haven't posted a single video yet. This is me videoing after like three weeks being home. I haven't posted a single video. I mean, I just had like, just lack of motivation. Like, having wants to do stuff and hanging around. It's unemployment stuff. I hate it. I hate not having something to do. I love to be busy. And so the fact I'm sitting around is just killing me. So, I'm, um, I'm just going to... I'm gonna back my phone up. I'll bring my phone to the gym, do some videos. Um, of my back workout, back and biceps. My chest and my triceps were so pumped last night. It's ridiculous. Like, you know, when you just feel like you can't really extend your arm because your triceps are too pumped. It felt like that, and it's kind of weird. I missed cardio last night because I I left the gym really late, so I had to get home, get some stuff done. But uh, I had the C C four. Pre-workout, that was really good. I liked it. it tasted decent too, which is surprising because most pre-workouts suck for flavour. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the gym in a couple of hours. Cool. Three hours. I have three hours tied in my room. I'm gonna do a before and after view, so you guys can see that I did it. Yeah, actually motivate me to do it. So, okay, you guys ready? Before. And after. Ta da! Um, it was all really good until literally five minutes ago. Mum dumped all this crap here, which is like my djembe. That football keeps reappearing. Um, this is my Quest Bars. Uh, quest Bars. Damn it, I must want the Quest Bar right about now. I'm really hungry. Um, my Flex magazines that I'm still be reading. They, I need to get laminated. They, I went to photograph the Fratellis and then five other bands at the junction in Cambridge. Um, I finally found a place for my gym bags. They're now underneath here. Bin is kind of in the way. I need to find a place for that. I'm actually lining up all my shoes. And um, I'm not sure if I ever posted these. I can't remember. I may have done. They are my Nike IDs that I love an excessively large amount. See? Told you they're mine. Got my name on them. Um, they were expensive as hell. So basically, if anyone touches them, I kind of freak out. Like, you can see, I don't wear them in the mud. Like, they're pretty damn clean. Um, and then I've got my Nike Flights. They I'm almost as obsessive with. They're just so white, I have to keep them nice and clean. I love them. Um, and then, of course, next in priorities, but not quite as well kept, are my rider wear boots. They're just the best. Kind of gross and sweaty because I just train back and chest, so kind of sweaty inside. But and then the rest of them are just shoes. And I kind of ran out of room for my DVDs, um, so I can get that. There you go. So I have over there. I have like games and crap, and it went to DVDs in the parallel wall. It kind of got a bit filled up. And the funny thing is, I like to order stuff, so everything is in a particular order. Like, that is action, and it goes A through to Z. Um, action, comedy, comic... Um, how's it go? Action, comedy, comic... Miscellaneous... Motocross... Stand-up, sci-fi... Something else. And then I've got my, of course... The three DVDs everyone... Well, the two... That's crap. Don't buy that, it's terrible. Mr. Olympia, I thought it'd be great, like, footage of Mr. Olympia and about the athletes. It's just old stage footage. It's boring. Pumping Iron, everyone must watch this. It is the best film ever for any bodylift builder, or just any people in general, because I think it gives a great perspective of people who misunderstand bodybuilding. You can get a much better idea from watching this than anything else. Pumping Iron. And the new one they brought out, which is Generation Iron, which, of course, stars... People like Phil Heath, Kai Green, Branch Warren, people like such as that. 
it's more about the modern day body. There's a massive, it's nice to watch pumping iron and then generation iron and see the difference between the generations. For me, 100% pumping iron all the way, the difference. I don't like current bodybuilders um, to an extent. Like, here's the thing. Hang on, let me just turn this thing around. <laughs> there you go. I like current bodybuilders. Let me rephrase that. I think they're incredible. I think their work they're putting is insane. I just don't like the proportions. I think people look. They don't. Like, I mean. Yeah. Like, you know. Damn, the freaking size. It's. You know. The heads look tiny. The necks look weird. It's like their calves are bigger than their necks. It's just. I. You know. I don't know, I just kind of think proportion size is a bit weird. Proportionate to each individual muscle group, yes, they've matched them out and, you know, like the shoulders compared to the biceps are the right proportions, but I mean like the actual head and your hands and your forearms and stuff that doesn't necessarily get bigger compared to the size of your chest and your back is ridiculous, like. But, um, you know, my opinion. I still watch it every year, I watch it all the time. Big Ronnie Coleman fan, Big Jay Cutler fan, Kai Green, not much Phil Heath. I don't know, I just don't like his attitude. He might be a really nice guy in person, he just comes across very... I want to say arrogant, but not necessarily arrogant, just that... He just seems like he is the best and he knows he's the best and there's nothing else to it. I, might, I guess that's kind of the mindset of a lot of the stage stuff, but... I don't know. Maybe it's for the camera, I'm not sure. He's probably... I'm sure he's probably a standard guy, he's probably a lovely person. I'm not here to judge. Ah. Space. So, I'm going to close this video off anyway. I didn't do any footage tonight because I just got... I literally just finished my brew, went straight to the gym. Left my phone at home, left everything at home, just grabbed my bags and I like, ran out the door. So, uh, I've got some more videos coming. So, I'll be, I'm will be back on the video streaming, posting effort. So, thank you for being patient guys. I love you all. And, that's all. See you later.